Oh my God, Brandon Sanderson, don't do this to me so early in this book. I'm talking about chapter seven. Are you kidding me? If this event turns out to be true, there are going to be a lot of pissed off characters here. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. You're with Chris and today I'll be wrapping up yet another week as the end of April draws near. I had a pretty productive week. Um, I was pleased to have finished Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I did put up my spoiler free review so if you haven't caught it yet take a look at that. But uh, it went just as I predicted with a lot of Brandon Sanderson's books. I normally just smash through the last third of the book in uh, one or two sittings because I find with Sanderson's book he spends a lot of time building foundations and creating the characters and setting up certain events for the climax and uh, this book was no different. As soon as I hit the last third of the book everything just picks up and accelerates and the pacing gets quicker, uh, all the events culminate to a thrilling climax and the best part about uh, the Brandon Sanderson standalone books I've read, so Warbreaker and Elantris, is that uh, he's left them open for sequels and it's wide knowledge that he does plan on revisiting um, Elantris and Warbreaker and uh, writing more novels in those universes. So uh, the, the man is an absolute freak. He is so prolific. I mean, the guy um, released these secret projects that no one knew about. In between his hectic writing schedule, the man is just incredible. But uh, look, I thought the magic system in Warbreaker was great. It was an absolute kick-ass. The characters were fantastic. I love them all. And uh, yeah, looking forward to reading more um, uh, books in, set in those universes whenever he gets around to writing them. Now, um, something else I also did this week, uh, non-book related, I actually finished a model car that I've been building. And that is the 1967 Chevelle which is this little ripper here. Now, um, I went with a different color than what uh, not other people have done with this particular model. I went with the racing green, which worked very well. And if I hold it up to the camera a little bit more, you can see the creamy colored interior there, which I thought works well with the racing green. And I've got the roll cage painted in black. And you can just see here, if I turn it, it actually turned out really well. The, there were a lot of mistakes with this you can't see. I did struggle a little bit with the tyres and uh, placing the engine just right. But uh, all in all, I thought it turned out all right and uh, looks pretty sick. But very, very happy with the, uh, the colour and the rear mag wheels. Uh, fantastic as well. So uh, I'm over the moon with how that turned out. So that was uh, something a little bit creative I got up to this week, which was awesome. Also this week, I decided I might start Horror Mayhem a little bit earlier because I found myself in between books and I thought well, it wouldn't hurt to get a bit of a head start, would it? And then I got to thinking I'd finished Warbreaker, I'd finished all the required reading of short stories and novellas and essays before Words of Radiance and I thought, uh, oh, I've got Words of Radiance sitting here. And I thought I would pick it up, you know, just to sneakily read the prologue, just to get a, uh, an idea of what's going on. And then I turned to chapter one and chapter two, and I'm hopelessly addicted. So what I've decided to do is make a deal with myself. I figured that looking at May in particular as a whole month, there are four full weeks of May if I start Horror Mayhem on the 8th of May. So what that means, friends and neighbours, is that I have a full week. I can allow myself to immerse myself back into Roshar and visit these phenomenal characters and uh, see how far I get before I start Horror Mayhem. And I think it's uh, a very good position to be in because I can get through a fair bit of the book in a whole week, I believe. And... Uh, I'm absolutely looking forward to it. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. It's not cheating. I'm still committing to the four weeks in May for the project. And uh, I think it's an opportunity that I'm gonna seize with both hands. And I think what I might do is do a reading vlog for Words of Radiance, much like I did with The Way of Kings. There are five parts to Words of Radiance, which means five videos where I can share my thoughts and impressions with you in bite-sized videos. 
and uh, at the moment it is shaping up to be uh, so compelling that I'm hopeless to it, especially with Brandon dropping a sandal early on in the book of chapter seven. Oh my God, um, the, this event, this particular event, people know what I'm talking about here uh, who have read the book, this event will change things and make people or characters very, very angry and wanting blood for it. So uh, do I agree with the decision Brandon's made? No, not at the moment, but uh, it'll be interesting to see why he made this decision as the book goes on. So I'm very, very excited uh, to have a whole week to devote to Words of Radiance. I've been wanting to get to it for a long time, and I'm finally there and just can't wait to uh, live and breathe Roshar. Uh, it's just fantastic. Now at the moment, I'm up to chapter seven, which is on page, um, or oh, chapter eight rather, no, 11, sorry, on page 156. So I'm using every opportunity I can to uh, mow through some pages. And this week, I'm just gonna go for it and see how it goes. But uh, looking forward to it, looking forward to sharing my thoughts and impressions with you with yet another reading vlog. And I always like that format because um, it's broken down into digestible pieces that I can talk about um, without reviewing the book as a whole after I finish it because there are things that uh, I would tend to forget. An example I would use is I read The Way of Kings back in January and I thought before picking up Words of Radiance I uh, had forgotten a couple of things so what I did was look up uh, detailed chapter summaries uh, of Way of Kings just so I can gloss through and just make sure I've brushed up on everything I need to know before opening Words of Radiance so now there are references to uh, what has happened in the Way of Kings and I'm glad I brushed up because there were a couple of things I forgot and uh, it just made uh, the experience a lot more enjoyable jumping into Words of Radiance so looking forward to sharing my thoughts with you on that. Okay, so next up I have some show and tell for you. I've been wanting to show this to you for a little while now because I had bought this during my massive reading slump that I had and I've come out of, and that is the 50th anniversary edition of Carrie. Um, Hachette is the local distributor here in Australia for all things Stephen King, and what they're going to be doing is releasing uh, key Stephen King titles in this format over the next few years. So they're going to go through in order. They're going to do uh, Salem's Lot and um, The Shining next, as well as The Stand over the next three or four years. This is a naked embossed hardback, which is absolutely sensational. You can see the spine here, which is also embossed, and the back cover, which says, to be invited to prom night is a dream come true for Carrie. Yes. Now it's got a blue, uh, red ribbon bookmark there. It has a new forward by uh, Margaret Atwood and just plain red end papers, which is fine. And uh, just look at this. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, it is a way for me to collect beautiful editions rather than shelling out a fortune uh, on Folio Society, for example, which uh, they're just a dream to get those editions. But it's just really pretty. It's embossed, it's gloss, you know, it shines. It is just a fantastic, fantastic edition. And I'm happy to have it in my library and uh, I might just reread it purely because of the fact that I actually own this beautiful edition that was recently released. Absolutely sensational. So there you go, guys. That is it for my weekly wrap-up. Thank you very much for watching. Next week, I might even put out a book haul video. I do have uh, quite a lot that I have bought in recent times, enough to uh, do a book haul video, so they're always fun to do, so watch out for that. But uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll always promise to deliver the best content I can. Offer up any feedback in the comments below. Always welcome to that. But until the next video, guys, happy reading.